novice. Hello. Hi, Adam. Today we are going to be having a real English conversation about our program, Taking Noise Out of Your Life. And if you missed that program, you can go to our website, www.spotlightenglish.com, to listen to the program and read along with it. Uh, you can find it here on YouTube as well in its classic form and an advanced form of this program. And of course, all the links for that program and all that information that you need is down below in the program description. So Adam, yes. before we dive in, can you give us just a sort of summary of what this program was about? Yeah, this program is about all the noises in our life and not just the natural noises of conversation, but kind of noise pollution, which is as cities get bigger and busier, there's a lot of noise. And people don't always think about when they're building a building or where a train track might go about the noise it's going to make um, and how that's going to affect people. So this program looks at that but also looks at the effect that that has yeah. on people's lives, on their, um, their health, their physical health, their ability to learn. And it, the program does end with some great helpful tips about what you can do to kind of reduce the amount of noise, just pure noise in your, in your area and in your life. Right. So I think one of the most important things to um, to make uh, make to to say is that noise is different than sound, right? Yeah. So sound is maybe something that you want to be in your life. You're listening to music. Those that's not noise. That's sound. Mm -hmm. Although it might be noise to some other people who don't want to hear it. So noise is an unwanted sound. Um, so maybe your your music is a nice sound to you, yeah. but noise to me or um... or even when like my 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 parents when they were younger lived next to a, a neighbor who came home late at night playing loud music in his car right and it, they didn't have a problem with the music it was when they were they were trying to sleep right so it became noise right so that's sort of like um that's i think an important point to distinguish that there is no like sound and noise right um and what I think is so interesting, I love how this program starts out, right? Where it says, just listen to the silence and what, like, think about what noises you're hearing right now. Yeah. And so, um, so what you do know, you hear, Liz? Often, what do you hear yeah. right now besides me? Like, what are the sounds you can actually hear? Um, I hear my computer. Uh, a few minutes ago, I heard my kitten. Uh, mewing behind the door. Um, I can hear a little bit of outside, um, and maybe there was a truck that went by. Yeah. What about you, Adam? What can you hear if we I just... hear, uh, some, some, some fan running of, of the, the heating system in my house. There's a few nice little birds chirping outside, so I hear, I yeah. can hear those. I can, if I... I can sometimes hear my my spouse footsteps across the the ceiling, but what's what I think is interesting is you don't always notice those things. It just kind of exactly becomes. Exactly. But if you pause, you notice yeah. it. Yeah, which is why I love this because um, you know sometimes um, I am actually very sensitive to noise, um, oh, okay. and sometimes okay. it drives my family uh, nuts, right? Because um, we'll have maybe we'll be cooking. And uh, if there's a lot of smells or steam, we turn on a fan above the stove mm -hmm. and it's very loud. It just goes. Right. And sometimes uh, my my husband will leave it on while we're eating and we eat very close to where the stove is in the kitchen. Yeah. And um, I can feel myself being very uh, like just agitated uh yeah. so like upset and maybe a little more angry and i can't get calm and then it occurs to me i have a i have an idea and i'm like oh i need to turn that fan off and i turn the fan off and it immediately i feel so much better yeah and i can i can breathe 
and then I sit and I take a breath. Um, and so that's a very like um, a strong example of how noise affects me. But like we just like you said, we just don't notice it a lot. So, you know, you don't always understand that those trucks outside are, you know, making you less able to work or that uh, your pets are are bothering you. Um, right. Or even sometimes your kids, you know, making outside, you know, making playing outside or whatever. Um can be very distracting and agitating to a body. So I, I'm just curious now. Yeah. When you are trying to focus on, say, writing a spotlight script, mm -hmm. do you um, use music or what's called white noise, which would be uh, something to cover up the sound? Or do you like it just perfectly quiet? No, Absolutely no never. I would, I can't, I cannot, this is a different thing about my brain, but I cannot work with music on, especially if it has lyrics in it. If people are singing in the music, yeah. um, I can, it's, it's too much. That so is just straight up noise to me. I would be curious if you're watching this and you just give us a vote. Just say, yeah. I listen to music, never. Because yeah. I, I, I do a little bit of both, but let us know if you are a, I don't know what we would call it, a, 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 <laughs> a complete, a Liz or an Adam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you listen to white noise or, or music? I, there are certain tasks that I like to have music. So if it's something where a repetitive task. Um, something you do over and over and over. Yes where I need to upload files to a website, you know, um, mm -hmm. just do that. I will like to have music on. Um, but I, it, I often do find myself working much slower. Yeah. Um, I will say one of the things that I used to have a car that had no radio. It was a very basic car. It had mm -hmm. no, no CD player, no, no way to play music at all. <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. Because yeah. I would just drive and I would have my own thoughts. Uh -huh. And it was, it was, I mean, there was noise from the road and other cars. Yeah. But I do enjoy um, uh, in engaging in silence in my own yeah. thoughts. Yeah, I think that we like, uh, and, you know, in this program, we tell about a few experts who really recommend just... Um, yeah, like silence in your life at some points. Do right? you have do you have those? Do you do you think you have yeah, moments of I think my office where I work is quite quiet usually. Okay. Um in the summer when the kids are home, it is less quiet. Sure. Um sometimes during the day, especially in the summer, like people will be working in their gardens or um trucks will be going by a little more frequently, but in general, it's pretty quiet where I work. So right. it's not too much of a distraction. So that's good that you have a space like that in your yeah. home. I think one of the things that I like about this program and many of our Spotlight programs is we try to offer some some helpful tips or advice. Right. And right. I think that um, one of the things that, that I would recommend to all people is uh, listening to music at an appropriate level. I know yeah. that a lot of people do ear pods or headphones or, yeah. um, and I think uh, studies are showing that we're, we are damaging our hearing by playing yeah. music too loud. And this is, this is a little different and than noise. Adam, I want to point out that like hearing is one of those senses that does not grow back. Hmm. Like once your ears lose that ability to hear, yeah. you cannot regain it without, um, like hearing aids yeah, or some yeah. sort of technical thing that you, that you have. So right. I think I always tell people that because I think it's so important when they listen to music so loud, you have to listen to it more quietly or you're not going to hear anything. Soon. Yeah. You're going to get to a certain point. And that's point. when I sound like a very old person. <laughs> yeah. You turn your music down. Turn your, you, you young kids. <laughs> no, I think that there are, there are, it's, I think the the thing that we started talking about, for me, it's being aware 
Like mm -hmm. just taking a minute because it, it isn't just about noise, but it's about that, like centering ourselves and being the aware. Peace. The peace of, of, of silence. Yeah. What's going on around us. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I love your story about having that fan running and just turning it off and feeling this sense Oh, of... yeah. It's such a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Because and... even if we think that noise isn't affecting us, like even if it's just the low, the low sort of rumble that's a normal noise, right. um, I love the examples in this program of like how noise affects nature, mm -hmm. right? Um, so it's making birds nest at different times and it's making uh, cows unable to have milk at the right time. It affects whole ecosystems. I yeah. mean, with cities, oh, yeah. right? Um, so I think that is just a really interesting thing that we just, we just don't think about. So yeah. if it's, even if it's underneath and you don't notice it, like the ticking of a clock in the background or your heating system, or... Um, I think we've yeah. just ruined everyone's day who's watched this. Yeah. <laughs> because all they're gonna hear is ticking clocks now. Because I know that when I notice those things, I, it's yeah. very hard to not notice them for a little while. Yeah. Or, okay, so I did, wanna, I did wanna talk about one other example in this program, which I thought was so amazing. And this, um, this example was from, ooh, the 70s. That's like 50 years ago. So you have to imagine that the program or that the, sorry, that the um, the problem is so much worse now with more noise and more things, right? Yeah. Um, but these school children who were, you know, there's a school building and one side of the school is near train tracks and the other side is a mm. quiet side. And so um, the teacher would have to, when the train went by, the teacher would have to stop teaching for a few moments right. until the train went by. Or the teacher would literally have to yell over the sound of the train tracks. So, you know, they yeah, just yeah. stopped teaching for that moment. And they studying these kids for over six years or for about six years, they determined that these kids in this classroom were missing like a lot of instruction and they had lower reading scores. And so uh, then the kids on the quiet side, which is, you know, you again, you think, oh, it's just city noises. They're, everyone's just going to adapt and it's going to be fine. But then you have actual studies that are showing that this noise is taking a lot from these kids' lives. So after they had this study in the 70s, uh, this was in New York, by the way. So the school put up some uh, noise-reducing stuff it's in the school. Walls. Walls, yeah. Um, uh, you know, there's like padding you can buy. Yeah. Um, or and then the and then the train, the train company. Yeah. Uh, whoever Conductor, they were. The driver. No, not the driver. Uh, like the um, whoever manages the trains. Yeah, train the city. Company. The city the essentially. City. Uh, they made the trains. They put some uh, like not padding, but uh, like technology on the trains that would make them go like quieter past yeah. Yeah. This, or, or just be quieter and that made a difference in their in their reading scores so you know even if you think this sound isn't affecting you you know i think this is like this is i'm going to think about this today because you know with our children we talk about screen time and we think about the the visual yeah. stimulation that they get from from screens we try to make sure that they don't you know it's not unlimited Right. But I don't really think about the noise levels that they have, and 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 because there are means. health effects from noise. Yeah, and you know, your raised blood pressure, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. yep, for sure. So that gives me a that gives me some homework to do is to to be aware of noise today and to figure out like what's because you can't avoid it, right? Right. Yeah, you can't. All you can do is. Um, try to make it less in your life. Although, have you ever used these like uh, these headphones you can put on that are like noise blocking headphones? I don't have a pair, but I've used I've tried them in a store one time. They had a. Sample. They are very weird. They, I don't know if that's. I I do have a pair, and I have tried them before when like there was maybe like too much noise um, outside my office, and I right. really needed to get some bills paid, and I put them in. 
and I could concentrate a lot better. Yeah. I don't know if, because they're a little uncomfortable, Okay. but I, I don't know. I think they it's, are, they're an interesting solution. It's a tool to use when you need them, right? Exactly. Exactly. Well, we would love to hear um, what you have to think about noise in your life. Do you live in a very noisy area, like in the city? Do you live in a place where most of your noise is maybe birds or nature? We would love to hear about your experiences in the comments and how noise has a place or not, or silence has a place or not in your life. Um, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and our website, www.spotlightenglish.com. Uh, and uh, make sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube. Hit the little bell so you always get a notification when uh, we have a new video. You won't miss anything then. Um, and until next time, we hope that you listen, watch, practice, and learn. Spotlight out. <laughs>